Hey guys, today we get to go offshore fishing with Joshua from Black Tip H, Tyler and Cody from Dude Perfect, and Jason from Sonar Fishing Charters. It's gonna be a really cool day, so stay tuned. Today we're heading out to Fernandina, Florida. We're fishing in Jason's boat. It's a really nice boat, a 39 CV with quad 350 Mercury Brados. It's a little rough today, but that boat handles it really well. I'm really excited to get out there and fish with a new group. It's always nice to fish with a new captain on his boat because I learned a lot, you know, about their style, some cool tricks, and it's really exciting for me. It helps me to become a better fisherman, and hopefully I can pass some of that on to you today. We head offshore and our first stop is to catch some bait about four or five miles out of the inlet. We start jigging up some uh, cigar minnows and some other bait fish, uh, get some uh, bluefish and some grunts and some other little pinfish, little stuff like that, that we're going to use for our day of fishing. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, thank you. That's impressive. Yeah. Snag them, baby. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Actual bait. Actual bait. Nice work. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a big daddy. There you go. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, 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 remember from Cherry Lane? Uh, nothing fancy about what we're doing to get them. Just using some little sabiki rigs, like number eight or so. Um, nothing special about them, but dropping them on the spot and jigging them up and catching some good bait to make for some good fishing later. After that, we began our long journey out to about 130 feet of water. We started with some butterfly jigs. Uh, just dropping them down and then reeling and jigging really frantically. And we were catching some nice amberjack that way. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. He's on. He's on. Red snapper. That's a red snapper right there. Play him red out. Play him out. Play him out. <laughs> That's uh -huh. red, red snapper. Oh, it's on. Get in. 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 Hey boy, you ever caught one of those? Yeah, boy, just caught one of my tidbits in there now. Yes. You can just take bite out of them and throw them back. It'll regrow. I've got group of those tails. Then we switched it up to using some circle hooks and some cut bait and some of our live bait that we jigged up. That was working pretty good. Caught some fish on that. Um, kind of a variety of fish. Do I need to sit there and like let them take it some? Yeah, the circle hooks, they kind of got to eat it. Yeah. And then, uh, Kind of hook themselves before I hammer down on them. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. Get him. Burn him. Uh oh. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on. Oh, boy. Hey, yeah, yeah, don't forget about this pass. Yeah. <laughs> Just when you think you're making headway, he, uh... Woo! Hey, so this being my third day fishing here, I'm not real sure what they got here, but I do know the world record live comes from right around here. <laughs> Seen some big gags out here. I mean, they'll get some 40, 50 pounds. It's a gnarly ledge we're on here. So, never know, dude. Working him good. I bet he's working me right now. Might be a shark. No, that's Red Wow. Campbar shark. Woo! What is it? <laughs> Gone. There we go. Josh! What? You got something oh, on the... Pelagicon! Pelagicon! I think we got it. You guys caught each other. He <laughs> told you what it was. Yeah, he's got him now. Get him! Get him, dude! Get that rig! Yeah, you got him. Come on. Dude, it's a really nice AK, man. Get him. 
Hey, right, teamwork. Okay, so the line broke there. Cody's, Cody's back in Kaya. Tango was not accidental. This was meant to be. Wow. Okay. He's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> I was just getting you back for, you know, my way earlier. And new species. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go new ahead and film it. Wolf it. Their rig was a little bit different than what I use. I typically use what they call a chicken rig. Basically a bank sinker on the bottom, a couple hooks coming off the main line, and attach that to your uh, main line. They were using basically a, a leader um, with a circle hook on one end, a swivel, and then an egg, a big egg sinker on the main line, which would allow it to slide a little more. A little bit different. Um, again, something kind of new for me to learn. It's kind of cool to see it in action and uh, it seemed pretty effective. So I'm gonna rig up a few of those myself and give it a try offshore next time. Um, and also where we typically eat like fried chicken for lunch, they grilled up some steaks and asparagus. Pretty nice, you know, first for me, but uh, definitely liked it. And where that was a pretty cool dinner, I uh, had to show them how we do desserts with Real Hazardous. My sister made some five layer bars, seven ingredients. What you got there, Jeremy? I need some uh, energy. What is that? Whoa. It's called like a seven layer bar. Wait, did you whoa. make this yourself? Uh, my sister and a slash editor made it for us, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy moly. It's whoa, pretty good. Whoa. What do we got here? Okay, so wh it's what's got in some these things? Explain. Coconut, some caramel, um, crust, chocolate. It's pretty good. Done. So that looks incredible. You are a man. Oh my God. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a small piece of one. I can't eat a whole one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You go out with my thing. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. That's sister? Yeah. Wow. Kind of shut down fishing for a minute. You know, got some energy back. And we got back to fishing hard. So we fished that area for a little while. After fishing that, um, refueling, we went to another spot and did some high speed trolling on our way. It's pretty cool, a little bit different than what I'm used to. Um, so I kind of saw their style. One thing I noticed that was a pretty neat trick, he was a little more deliberate on his kind of cutting back and forth. Um, I've heard that technique some guys use, you know, kind of makes your lures dart in and out of the white water. And uh, I thought I had a good idea for how it was done. But seeing his cuts, you know, a little more pronounced than I expected, um, kind of gave me a better idea of how to do that next time. At least give it a try. We had a little Yozori Bonita out, and uh, I don't know what happened. Something must have hit it. We never, it never screamed drag, but it kind of bumped it, and it just took the whole thing. I don't know if it just cut it off real fast, or, or what it could have been. I've actually seen something like that happen with us once. I don't know how, but some fish bit through the 275 pound cable that we had on one of our lures and like never heard the drag go off, never saw it. Just, I noticed it was pulling funny and cause it basically got tangled up on itself. But when we pulled it up, we noticed that the lure was missing, you know, just cut off somehow. I don't know how a fish can cut it off that cleanly without even pulling the drag. I don't know if it was a big Mako a big wahoo or what. So we get to the next spot, and this spot is uh, pretty good. We're doing really well on sea bass. I was actually catching quite a few sea bass that day. A bite, Jeremy? Yeah, I had a bite. Oh, Jeremy's getting bit. Oh, wow. There he goes. Whoa, fish on. Turn that drag up, turn that drag up. Yep. Yeah. New species, new species alert. Oh, uh, yeah, just, oh, just have here one. Here we go, Mr. Seabass. <laughs> That's just my game, I guess, today, Seabass. Got it. Fish on! Big Seabass. Oh, man, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It was better than last time. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, no, no, what is that? Uh, uh, remora. Oh, it's a That's giant remora. <laughs> The biscuit hole. Take the biscuit. And what was really neat was we actually had a dude perfect rod offshore. And we caught snapper, you know, several snapper on that dude perfect rod and a few other fish, you know. This little rod that's meant for like brim and stuff for kids in your pond. It's like this long and, and that thing was like bent over when we were catching fish. But hey, it did the job, got it done. So that was pretty neat how well that the rod held up to it. Pretty strong, much stronger than it looked. So good job on the quality of that. <laughs> Overall, it was a great day on the water. I learned a lot of cool stuff and just got to hang out with some really fun people. You know, great day of fishing. Um, don't forget to check out Joshua's channel, Black Tip H. He's got some really cool vids. They've got some monster fish, huge sharks, black grouper. They do all kinds of fishing. So find that on YouTube and subscribe to that. Also, check out Jason from Sonar Fishing Charters. He's down in Sarasota, but he fishes all over Florida, really. So if you're looking for a charter down there, you know, by all means, check him out. And finally, don't forget to find Dude Perfect if you're not already and subscribe to their channel. They've uh, got some really cool videos. One of my favorites is the fishing stereotypes. So uh, feel free to guess what my stereotype is for that. And uh, be sure to just you know follow them. They're uh, great guys and we all had a great time in the water. Check out all them guys. I'll put links in the description. And finally, don't forget to follow us if you're not already. Subscribe to our channel. We got some cool videos coming out this summer. A lot of cool things in the work. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.